welcome back. A massive container ship losing power near a major New York bridge Friday night. A lot of deja vu's going on. Fox Business's Madison Allworth live from Staten Island now near the Verrazano Bridge with details. Madison. Hey, Maria. Yes, Friday evening, a large cargo ship lost steering ability near the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, which is right behind me. But luckily, tugboats were able to pull the boat to a stop, avoiding disaster. All of this happening less than two weeks after a cargo ship slammed tragically into the into the Baltimore Francis Scott Key Bridge. Now, Friday night's incident involved an 89,000 ton vessel, that being the APL Qingdao. It had a loss of propulsion impacting its ability to steer and move. Naval experts say that a loss of propulsion or power that happens, but usually not so close to busy bridges. I would not say normal, but it's not infrequent that ships lose power. Most commonly it happens, you know, in the in the large oceans or in seas where there's not a whole lot of other traffic that's at risk or land that can be damaged if the ship runs aground. Now, a major difference between Baltimore and New York is that the U.S. Coast Guard operates vessel traffic service. VTS, think of it like air traffic control, but for busy ports. All ships are monitored and tugs can respond quickly, which is what happened Friday night. Only 12 ports in the U.S. have a VTS service. New York is one of them because these waters behind me are some of the busiest in our country. Annually, over $300 billion travels in these waters and over 800,000 commercial vessels. Friday night was a miss, luckily, and that's in part because of the tugboats and the system set up here in New York. Maria? All right, Madison, thanks very much.